Hey, what's going on guys? Back again with episode two of season two of the vlog. First few times I've ever tried vlogging, it never really panned out. I kind of didn't know what I was doing. I was just making videos. Back this season, three major goals. One being to get used to shooting more regularly. Two, experimenting with different filming styles in kind of a quick format like this is so that I can eventually get better at it and used to it and shooting in my real videos. And three, to come across with an actual point rather than just doing my daily routine or uh, just kind of random adventures, I wanted to go into this season with the idea of shooting with a purpose. And each video is gonna have a different idea that I'm gonna talk about. Which leads me into today, talking about accountability. Keeping yourself accountable. Like most of you, since you're here, I also watch a lot of YouTube videos and scroll endlessly through Instagram. To the likes of Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, BKXC, Single Track Sampler, pretty much you name it. Anybody that's creating videos, pretty much watching it. Their stories are epic and their content is, well, it's incredible. And they're posting like every other day, it's insane. Some of their videos are about things that are awesome and others are just kind of nonsense, but hey, you still watch them anyway. The one thing in common that all of those creators and most of the other people you probably follow is that they are always posting. Now, where do they get the time to post that many videos it takes me hours to go and edit, even some of the simplest of videos. So how do these people do it every day? Granted, yes, they're professionals now and this is sometimes this is all they do, but they weren't always professionals. They were like you and I starting out, having probably a real job and making videos on the side. Now, how does somebody post videos every day that isn't dedicated to that solely? And that's not just with the YouTube videos. Think about all the people you follow on Instagram, posting every day, sometimes multiple times a day. It's pretty wild, isn't it? And that leads me to the point of accountability. Posting every day or as often as some of these people do, does one thing. It holds you accountable, not only to your audience, but to yourself. If you commit to posting regularly, then guess what? It's gonna force you to keep filming regularly and shooting regularly. Because realistically, you just can't go and do the same stuff over and over again uh, and expect your audience to grow or your skills to get better. So for those adventure filmmakers like myself out there, this is gonna force you to travel more and more and take on more and more adventures and just keep getting after it. Because with new adventures comes even more video and photos and epic stories to tell. And without those adventures, well, are you really gonna be getting any better? It forces you to stop posting those videos and photos just from that one epic trip you took uh, every other year or once a year, or once a month, whatever your schedule's like. And it's gonna be more and more of the weekends that you spend chasing the sunsets and getting after it, really getting the most out of those weekends for most of us who are working a nine to five job. But then I also question, is it worth it? Is it worth it to shoot as much as possible so you can quickly edit and just get content out there rather than working on things and tweaking them and editing for weeks and producing something that really is meaningful. I guess there's a, a balance to be had somewhere there. But with that will come a lifetime of adventures. And I think at the end of the day, that's gonna be significantly more worth it than anything you put on the internet or share with your friends and family because those are the things that you'll remember. So here's something to take away from this. Get out there and film as much as possible. Go on as many adventures as possible. Go out there, take road trips with your friends and family. Bring your camera along, capture it all. That is going to be the basis for your content for days, weeks, and years to come. Is it worth posting every single day or every week for that matter? Well, that's up for you to decide. But just think about how epic, maybe that one time in your life when you did back-to-back -back weekends of trips somewhere. Now imagine doing that every single weekend. And I think the camera and your audience and YouTube and Instagram is a good way to hold yourself accountable. What do you think? Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know below. 
All right, until next time, see you later.